Good morning, everyone. Miss Judy here with another edition of Art Outside the Box. I've got a fun project to do today with things I'm sure that you've got around your house. And um, I just really enjoyed doing this. So it is going to entail some paper weaving. And I've made this little wall hanging with um, pages for magazines. So get your magazines ready, get a theme in mind. You're only going to need a few materials, and I will show you what those are. Number one, a magazine. I am going to use food as my theme. So I picked Martha Stewart, and she had lots of pictures of good looking food in here. When you choose your, your photos that you're going to use, try and get them so they fill up the whole page and you don't have a whole lot of writing. All right. So you're going to start by tearing seven pages out of the magazine, things with interesting colors, interesting pictures. And when you tear those out, you'll have a little bit of a rough edge to that. So go ahead and take your scissors and just trim that off so you've got nice, smooth edges. Okay, so once you've got your seven torn out, you're going to take these and measure them halfway and then cut them in half to form strips. So what you'll end up with is something like this. I've already folded this a little bit. I just took it apart so I can show you, but you'll have 14 of these to work with for your weaving. All right, so I'm gonna get my things together and we will get started. All right, you should be able to see here what I'm doing. So I've got my strips. And I am going to find out the size, the side that I want to use, and it's going to be this that has the most color on it. Lay it down, I'm going to fold it exactly in half and give it a good crease. All right, I'll flip it with these two edges facing me. Okay, and then I'm going to fold it a third of the way up into the center with my raw edges in the middle and then take this and fold it over towards me and give this all a good crease and then we're going to fold it exactly in half okay I'll demonstrate that one more time and then I have some strips that I've already folded so I'm going to use this side. I like the looks of this taco and it's got some nice bright colors in it. So I'll fold that in half. And then with the raw edges turned towards me, I'll fold it to the center about a third of the way. And then once again towards me, giving it a good crease and fold it in half. So now we'll start the weaving process. This is a little tricky and you kind of just have to, um, to work at it to figure out the best way for you. You can work flat on the paper and do it or you can hold it up, but you might get a little frustrated. Take your time, look at it, figure out what you need to do. You're not gonna ruin anything. Anything that maybe you make a mistake with at this point you can fix, okay? So, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to take my next strip and I'm just going to put that in between like so. All right. So this is going to form the corner of my piece. Then I'll take another one of my strips. So the way to think about this is I've got one on top. My next one I want to go underneath. So I'll separate these and I'll slide that under and then bring it up snug to the one I've already done. Okay, now I'm going to start over on this side. Once again, I've got one that's up, so I want this one to go under. That'll go under here and under here. And this is kind of where you have to think about things a little bit. Well, it's nuggets also got to go under this one. Once you get a little more of a pattern, it's kind of easier to figure out, but at the beginning, it's a little bit confusing. 
Okay, so the next one, let's take this nice bright color one. All right, so that one's sticking up. This one's got to go over. I even get myself confused sometimes on this. I'm put this behind here to get it out of the way. And then it's going to go under my next one. There. Can you see how that's starting to look like a basket weave? I'll do a couple more here. Okay, so this one's going to go under, under here, and then over this one. Now, every now and then I'm going to flip this over to see what it's looking like on the back side. You want the back side to be working too. Otherwise, it's not going to want to hold together as a finished piece. Okay, so I'm going to do one over here. We'll go... This is actually easy to do holding up. I'm trying to, to do it down here so that you can see it. So we're going to go under there. Go over my next one. Under this one. And over this one. All right. Now I'm going to flip this. See what kind of a a mess we might have underneath. Not too bad. Okay, I've got a few little things I need to fix. And it'll look pretty much just like the front. This one's got to go under. Over that. Under here. Yep, that's good. Okay, we're all set. I'll do a couple more strips here and then I'm going to show you how I put this together. Let's do this green. Kind of try and mix up your colors a little bit too, just so you've got some, some interest and some different things going on. I like to throw in some contrasting colors. And I think kind of having a theme for this is fun too. You know, you can just do random, random magazine pictures, you could do faces, I've done food. On the, um, the sample one I made, I used a, a bird magazine, which was kind of fun, so I had all kinds of pictures of birds and flowers. This will be the last strip, and then we'll, we'll move on and put it all together. I hope everybody's having a good summer, enjoying the, the heat. It's kind of crazy out there, isn't it? Alright, let's see how we're doing on the back. Yep, I've got a couple of things I need to fix here. The further along you get with it, the easier these things go together. Alright, we're going to call this done, even though it's not. And I'll show you how I secure it. I just take a couple of pieces of tape. Normally I would have another strip here and another strip here, but just uh, just tape it wherever you want to to make sure it holds together, and that's what it's looking like right now. So to finish it off, I thought, well, I'm going to frame it. So I cut a black piece of paper, I cut a little white border. And then I thought I would pick up the blue that I've got in, in this uh, one sheet of magazine to kind of complement everything. So I just glued these down with my glue stick. And then I'm going to take my finished piece, make sure I've got the good side, not the tape side. And put a little glue on that. Center it. And you're done. Of course, you want to sign your work. Usually that's done in the bottom right-hand corner. So you can put your initials, your signature, anything that makes it uniquely yours. And you've got something to hang on your wall. The other thing you could do with these, if you wanted to finish it off, cut the edges off, you could use these for coasters. Of course, they won't last forever. They'll get wet, but they kind of make a fun gift. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I had a great time and I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay creative, make things, reuse things, 
and I will look forward to seeing you next week with another edition of Art Outside the Box. Have a good one. Bye-bye.